Welcome to The Daily for Monday, November 19th. I'm Andrew Wiebe here at RFK Stadium reporting in the aftermath of the Houston Dynamo and DC United's 1-1 draw. Of course, Houston moves on to MLS Cup for the second time in two years on that 4-2 aggregate score. And unlike that game in Kansas City where they were pressed to the absolute limit, Houston came out and did some pressing of their own in this game. They weathered the first 15 minutes of DC United's push forward, that attempt to get the all-important early goal, and then Boniac Garcia comes up big. Brad Davis driving to the end line and feeding his Honduran teammate for the all-important goal that gave them that three-goal lead. Of course, Bronco Boscovic pulled one back later on in the match, but it simply wasn't enough for a DC United team that could not recover from having their two most potent options forced out of the starting lineup. Dwayne Di Rosario started on the bench and eventually entered this game, but Chris Pontius could not come back from that groin injury that held him out in the first leg. In the end, DC United just did not have enough firepower to overturn this deficit, and although they're disappointed, they were on the brink of an uh, against all odds MLS Cup run. They remain confident in their future. They have that young core, and of course they have Di Rosario, who promises to be healthy and ready to return them to the same place next year. Meanwhile, on Houston's side, their style of play is once again validated for the fourth time in seven seasons of this franchise. They are headed to MLS Cup. And afterwards, Dom Kinnear said, hey, we might not be the most beautiful team. We might not be the team that draws the spotlight. But yet, the Houston Dynamo ends up in the spotlight year after year. That's it here in D.C. We'll send it out the West Coast where Jonah Friedman has the news from Seattle. Thanks, Andrew. It has dried up here at CenturyLink Field now, but that's not the case it was for most of the 90 minutes here where the rain poured down, and for the first 20 minutes, the Seattle Sounders poured on the attack on the LA Galaxy. They score in the 12th minute off Eddie Johnson scoring his first goal of the playoffs here, and they kept pouring the pressure on, nearly got a couple more, but all of a sudden the Galaxy started to settle down, finally doing what they do best and locked it down. Although Seattle did add another in the 57th minute with Zach Scott heading one in off a corner kick, Galaxy battled back and the decisive moment came in the 67th minute when Robbie Keane, of all people, didn't do much in this game. Most of it was on the defensive end, actually, but taking the ball to the end line and hitting it off the hand of Adam Johansson, handball was called, sent to the spot, Keen converted the penalty, and the Galaxy all agree that's the moment that broke Seattle. And from there, the Galaxy held on despite some late chances by the Sounders. David Estrada coming very close in the final minutes. But as a result, the Galaxy get out of here with a 2-1 defeat, but they advance 4-2 on aggregate. They are in their third MLS Cup final of the last four years. The Galaxy said they didn't know it sometimes during the season whether they would get here, but they're back. And guess what? They are at home again hosting the same Houston Dynamo. It is a rematch of MLS Cup 2011, but it's going to be a very different result this time. I predict the Galaxy have a lot of respect for what the Houston Dynamo have done. They've also came out of that knockout round all the way through to MLS Cup, but it's going to be a good one December 1st. That'll do it from Seattle. Make sure you check in on the site all week ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Goal of the year and save of the year continues. We'll see you around.